In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to export an uncompressed video type from Premiere Pro. And recently I made a tutorial about how to export a compressed video type, in other words, a video which you would be doing for a final delivery to be uploaded to a website like YouTube, for example. And you can click the annotation if you want to go and see that video. But this video is about an uncompressed video type. In other words, an intermediate video type. So if I was exporting a video out to put into Final Cut from Premiere, then I'd want to do an uncompressed video type so it can retain video quality. So an uncompressed video is a very large file size video because it's meant to keep as much quality as possible in terms of video and also sometimes sound so that when you import it into your new program, it hasn't lost that much information. So I'm just going to run you through what I use for my uncompressed video settings. So I've got my example video here. I'm just going to click on my sequence and go to File, Export, Media. Okay, so I'm just going to run through the settings I use when I export uncompressed video. And as I mentioned in my other tutorial about compressed video, um, I use a certain resolution and frame rate. And if you're watching this and you use a different frame rate or resolution, you can still follow this video. All you have to do is change the resolution and frame rate when appropriate. All right, great. So I use the format QuickTime. And as for the preset, I just use a custom preset and basically the main part of this video is going to be focusing on the video tab. Okay, so the very important part of this tutorial is looking at the video codec. So there are quite a few different uncompressed video codecs out there. And if you're using a Mac computer, a really good uncompressed video codec is the Apple ProRes series. So what you can do is you can export either using the Apple ProRes 422 or Apple ProRes 4444. Now Apple ProRes 4444 is a very heavy video codec and it does have some compatibility issues with certain programs. So when I'm doing an uncompressed video type on my Mac, I always go for Apple ProRes 422 HQ, which stands for high quality. Now, if you're watching this and you're using a Windows computer, a really good video codec to use is Animation. And it's a really basic video codec, but it's actually a really good codec for retaining information. And as mentioned before, using both Apple ProRes and Animation codecs will produce a very large file size. But this is kind of the point of using uncompressed video codecs because it's meant to retain as much information as possible. Okay, so as for the quality, I always put it at 100. And for the width and height, I always produce my cartoons at 720p. So I'm just gonna leave this at my source resolution, which is 1280 by 720. So my frame rate is 25, so I'm gonna leave that the same. Field type, now if you're using HD video, the field type should be progressive, so make sure you put it on there. And as for the aspect, uh, you want it to be on square pixels for HD video, that's very important as well. So as it shows here, I usually have render at maximum depth clicked. And as for the depth, you can bump it up to 32 bit on certain codecs, but 24 bit will do just fine. So as for these advanced settings, I usually leave these unticked. And as mentioned in my compressed video tutorial, usually you could limit the data rate, but in an uncompressed format, you actually want to keep the data rate really high so the actual information does not get diminished when you import and export your videos. Okay, so down here, I usually have use maximum render quality ticked, and that's pretty much done for the video settings. So. As mentioned before, the really important part of this is choosing the right video codec. So just make sure you do that. And the rest of the information pretty much goes as follows um, with your usual uh, pipeline, really. It's just the video codec which matters. Okay, so the next bit I wanna talk about is audio. Now, ideally, you don't want to be exporting audio when you're doing intermediate video codecs because what you can do is you can just put the audio on at the end. So for example, if I'm exporting a video clip out of Premiere Pro here to Final Cut, I can just do it without the audio and put the audio on in Final Cut in the end process. And it means that the audio isn't at risk of being exported and losing quality. However, if you do want to export your 
uncompressed video with audio, I'd recommend using an uncompressed audio codec. And then sample rate, it depends on the actual production. If you're just uploading to YouTube, um, 48 will be great. And stereo is usually the one to go to unless you're using 5.1 surround sign, which, which I don't think many people really use, um, especially if you're creating videos for the internet. So stereo is usually the way to go depending on what you're using. And as mentioned in the other tutorial, when it comes to your sample rate, if you are using 32-bit audio files in your Premiere file, by all means use this 32-bit float setting, but usually 16-bit will do just fine. All right, great. So after all that, it's pretty much ready to go. And what I usually do is I usually just compare these two stats to make sure that they both match up so I'm not making any big mistakes or anything. And all that's left to do is export my uncompressed video. So there we go. And there we go, my uncompressed video is exported and ready to import into a different program. So as always, I hope you found this video useful, and if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, please subscribe.